Hello everyone, and it's a beautiful Friday morning for me. At least it's good. It's not raining. It's kind of cold though. And I would like to say I apologize. I lo siento, very sorry, and comino sai that I didn't actually put up the second episode of Throwback Thursday. Sorry about that. Well, since no one really gives a darn anyways, it's got like a... But just in case for anyone who actually did care and did at least wanted to see the next one, that would just be thrown in the next one. And I'm like, I would just have three videos on Thursday. Well, anyways, so... I was going to say something else and I kind of forgot. Oh, yes. So today is going to be Ignorant Rent Day. Yeah, this is going to be a day that is filled with lots of ignorant rants. Three at the most. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I know lots of people are pissed off by it. You had like at least three people who are like, Unsubscribe. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you had like three of them who were like, Borat being like, Very nice. Unsubscribe. Oh, <laughs> uh, seriously though. Come on, don't unsubscribe. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't really have to even watch it and you can freaking dislike it but unsubscribing is like you subscribe for a reason and especially those who actually just subscribe because i gave out freebies they're coming they're coming just ask nintendo hey give us more freebies and then they're almost like giving some booster packs or some kind of crap i'm kind of shocked that they didn't give me a valentine's day booster pack you would figure since they did seasonal they most likely would have put a valentine's day themed pack you would figure they would have done that but anyways we're going to the real subject here and oh yes the other thing i was gonna do i thought i was i forgot about it well so bubble tube i talked to him i said hey i have a video on something very important i would like to discuss and he said as soon as you do it definitely tell me and i want to watch it the good news is it's been done. The recording is done. That's the good news. The recording is done. Heck, there's actually a few recordings. So that means that there's going to be at least four, two to four videos. So, yeah, the only messed up part is it's kind of hard doing it because it's kind of like I have to first dip it in batter. Think about corn dog. First, I have to dip it in batter. Then I have to deep fry it. Then I have to do it again after dipping in batter yet again and deep fry it because I kind of want to have some nice music to go with it. So, yeah, so um, I'm trying to get it there. The only really other reason why it's kind of messed up is because Movie Maker is like, <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah, I mean, the Movie Maker keeps on freaking saying it stopped for some reason. For unknown reason, it just stopped. I'm like, you're serious? Yeah, it's been crashing for a long while now, and I kind of dislike that. So, who knows? I'm, I don't really know what to say on this one. It's just the fact of it's going to take some time because it's like, it's kind of like teaching a student something. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. The fact of we just talked about it yesterday. How did you forget what you just learned? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I mean, they do have the whole restore previous project thing. And I do it and it's like, oh, it's a few things missing. And I'm like, oh, come on. Ugh. So yeah, that's basically it. If you are watching BobaTube, yeah, this is what's going on. So it's coming very soon. I promise you, it's coming very soon. It's just that... It's got to get to a point of where I'm like, all right, let's just do it. Ah! And try my hardest to get it done instead of just having Movie Maker just be like, oh, well, I don't know what you're doing to do, but I just can't do it with you. <laughs> and that's what really is happening is me and freaking Movie Maker is having some technical issues together and it's kind of bullcrap. So. Well, anyway, spinning some tangents, it's time for the real talk of this video. And the real talk of this video is none other than talking about the freaking legacy toy line of Power Rangers slash Bandai America. Yes, I want to explain my mentality and everything with this. I would love to have actually have 
the vid some video footage and etc etc of the toy fair but of course i have to go to the people ask hey can i use your thing and they most likely could say no they could say yes but it's gonna take some time and i really just want to put this out right now yeah i just want to put it out right now so that's why you get this nice little cute logo there you go you only get this logo i'm sorry i wish i could help you maybe i'll put some toy fairs because at least three or four people actually have footage of it yeah so i can't do it because they'll be like oh my gosh it's my footage i'm gonna kill you i'm suing you copyright infringement Ugh. and that's what i don't really want to do is the whole copyright infringement crap because they can really attack me they can really freaking damn attack me like a pack of wolves they can really do it yeah just like what norman osborne said in the first spider-man snarring off your trust form like a pack of wolves so yeah Let's go with this, shall we? <clears throat> so, the Legacy toy line started in 2013. And that's what really happened. And I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I got the Legacy Megazord. I got the Legacy Morpher. And I got Shinkino. I definitely wanted to get Shinkino because that was one of the freaking top lists when I actually will start doing Super Sentai toys. Or at least start to actually go for them i'm kind of sad that they didn't actually show the legacy not legacy the deluxe i don't give a darn about the deluxe go say megazord i'm sorry i would bet they would have been okay with it if i actually showed interest but i wasn't interested in those shinkino i loved it then for the next two seasons i kind of liked the six ranger megazord than anything so if they would have actually had robo knight slash I actually said Robo Knight. Oh my gosh. Robo Knight slash Gosei Knights Mechazord or Megazord. If they had that in Deluxe, I would have bought that. If they would have had Super Mega Force Silver slash Gosei, not Gosei, Gokai Silver's Megazord, I would have bought that. But they didn't do it. And heck, I think they actually skipped the Legacy or slash the Deluxe. Um, Gokai, what? did they call it hmm I should know what they call it and I kind of forgot yeah I kind of forgot so screw it <laughs> yeah but they would have had that but they skipped over it so that's interesting well anyways so in 2003 13 I got the three things yeah of course many people would be like well why didn't you get the first release hmm of course, there's just some people out there who actually are like, yeah, the first release is supreme and it's working with Zord Builders. Zord Builders sucks. Well, at least for the, yeah, the Legacy Megazord. As for the Shinkino, it's safe. It wasn't raped. <laughs> if that is actually something to say, the freaking Zord Builder is called rape. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, though. That's not right to say that. It's not right to joke about rape. But I'm just saying, Zord Builder didn't have their hands on the deluxe thing. The deluxe thing came straight out of Japan. But many people will most likely ask why I didn't get the Legacy Morpher when it first came out, and why didn't I get the Legacy Megazord when it first came out? Well, I was a kid. And I was low maintenance, actually. I was a low maintenance kid. I wasn't like a spoiled brat and I always asked for every single thing I saw on TV. Basically, if I got something, good. I'm happy with it. If I didn't get anything, I was fine with it. So, yeah, the Megazord, technically the Megazord didn't really appease to me. Even though given I should actually have bought it anyways or got it anyways. But, of course, it also brings to the point of... We don't know how well it would stand up because I have Zeo Megazord, I have the Zeo Megazord, I have a Super Zeo Megazord, and I have Falcon Zord. Falcon Zord, his head came off. His head is gone. Also, for Falcon Zord, one of his talons is broken <clears throat> and missing in action. For the Zeo Megazord, <clears throat> excuse me, for the Zeo Megazord, yes. Well, the good news is that only one thing happened. Only one thing happened. Besides some chipping later down the road, but only one thing happened. When I first got the Megazord out of the box, and I actually assembled it. Of course, my mom put stickers on it, and then I later was like, screw the stickers because they kept on peeling and crap. But the thing is, is that 
This is the first day. The first day I took it out of the box. And guess what happened? The freaking peg to the damn Phoenix Zord broke. Meaning that I wasn't actually able to put the Phoenix Zord together. And of course people would be like, oh well, you most likely forced it in and everything. No, I was weak as frick. I was very, very weak. I mean, I was like super skinny, like a string bean. I mean, if I stayed like that all the way to now, I honestly would have got picked on and everything else. Yeah, that's how string bean I was. So, it's really messed up that, of course, I bet they actually had a hotline and stuff back then, which if I knew, like I know now, I could actually have wrote to them or told them, hey, I bought this Zeo Megazord in the beginning, the first day. And the peg broke. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, so they might have actually said something. Maybe they was like, oh, I'm sorry, no refunds or something. Or they could actually have peaced and said, yeah, we're very sorry about that. We will give you a replacement, figuring if you give us yours. So it will be like a trade. They'll give me a new Falcon, sorry, a new Phoenix Zord if I give up the old Phoenix Zord. Something like that, or heck, maybe just do what they do today, which some do it. It's the fact of they gave me a replacement part, so that means I unscrew it. Well, technically, my mom won't unscrew it, and then take that piece, toss it, whatever, put the new piece. There you go, new pegs. Let's try it again. But instead, for years now, instead we didn't know about that, along with the whole funny part of also I had a Christmas where I had two. Of the same Transformers, and no one actually got the idea of, hey, let's let's take that back to the store, and we'll get you a replacement. You know, get refund, and then you're able to actually buy a different Transformer I didn't have. Yeah, but that didn't happen. But anyways, yeah, so that's what happened with the Z Omega Zord, and forever since forever, I had a large rubber band wrapped around it, and that's how. It stayed together in Megazord form. Yeah, that's totally crap. It really is totally crap. And then we got to the Super Me the Super Zeo Megazord. I know that a Falcon Zord came first, but I'm just saying in sequence what happened because the Falcon Zord, it got broken later years. Yeah, it got broken later years because of poor storage. I would go with that poor storage because I wasn't over there pulling on the head saying come off you bastard come off no it was because of poor storage and years of poor storage that the head popped off and that the talon got broke given yeah i'll get to that in a second but the super zeo megazord what happened is the helmet the little piece that supposed to be in the helmet that should actually stay there it popped off it did disappeared once and forever so yeah that's the first thing i was messed up and I do have to say the Super Zeo Megazord is a champ because there's like a few pegs on it that actually broke, but yet since it had lots of pegs on that, it didn't really destroy it. I mean the pink Megazord, I mean the pink Zord, it got some peg broke. No wait, the pink Zord, yeah, the pegs didn't get broken in the pink Zord. It was the green Zord that really got the pegs broken. Yeah, it got like at least one or two pegs that was chipped and broken. And um, Zero Ranger 5 Megazord was okay until a certain point where now his leg decided to take the peg off so that when I triggered the Zeal, yeah, and that's the latest thing that happened to it. Yeah, so now his freaking leg is hanging out because the peg decided to break. Of course, yeah, after years of playing with it, and of course, poor storage, it's broke. So yeah, so that's one other thing that's messed up. I really hope that I'm able to actually just replace it instead of being like, I'll have to replace the whole entire thing. I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing if I had to replace the whole entire Zord because, well, now I would just have one Zord that I'm like, ooh, now since I have this only one Zord of the Red Ranger, now I can get this signed by Tommy, or Jason David Frank, and sell it for billions to get my money back, etc., etc. Or just keep it just to have now I have something that Jason David Frank actually signed. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, uh, so yeah, the Zeo, the Super Zeo Mega Sword. That's all that really happened with it. That's about all that's happened. 
yeah, I mean, it works perfectly fine. Everything else is very, very good. The only messed up part is just because of the red and the yellow. That's the only two ones that actually was very bad. That's the only thing that really was bad with the toy. The Falcon Zord, like I said, it was... Technically, I didn't even want the Falcon Zord. Yeah, I got it on Christmas. I didn't want to tell my parents or my mom, Hey, I don't like this Falcon Zord. This Falcon Zord is crap. I just took it. I just took it and said I was happy with it. Yeah. I mean, it would have been cool if, since I didn't like the toy, it had electronics in it. I mean, it looked like it had electronics. Eventually, I actually came to the point of actually unscrewing the chest area to reveal if it had something or not. And, of course, I could tell. I could tell by the freaking toy that it should have actually had some electronics in it. And it would have helped me to enjoy the toy better and had better care of it but of course they didn't do that crap so guess what it lost its head I mean I can glue the head back that's the good news is that I could just so just take some super glue on that circle pole because that's what really kept it in was that circle pole so I would just super glue that you know dab circle it around swirl that super glue on that put it back in there let it sit there you go. The head can't pop off anymore. That's how easy it is. Um, I think I would eventually search for, and most likely there are like other people who screwed over the Falcon Zord, but hey, they'll sell it, even though it's like missing a wing or something. As long as the talon's okay, I'll buy it and I'll say, uh, five bucks. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get the talon, screw the talon, put the talon on there. There you go. And most likely I'll just get some paint and rubber labels. And there you go. It looks beautiful. It's back to its old original beauty. But of course, sadly, I didn't give a darn about the Falcon Zord. I didn't like it. I didn't care for the Falcon Zord. Technically the four the uh, technically the first Zord I should have had was the Red Dragon Thunder Zord. That is what we were looking for. And sadly we couldn't find it. And it was really, really sad. It was really, really sad. That's why I'm so getting the Legacy Thunder, the Red Dragon Thunder Zord, if they even announce it, which they need to announce it. Well, I'll tell you one thing is, <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing, is that if they're going to, sorry, 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 <laughs> yeah, I got out of a tangent. Yeah, I'll tell you that in a minute, but still, I would have rather they got me the movie version of the Megazord. The movie Zord. I would have loved to have the movie Zord. The Falcon Zord, I wouldn't give a crap about. But if they gave me the movie Zord, I would have been fine with it. I would have been enjoying it and everything. But of course, I couldn't say anything because you'll look kind of ungrateful on Christmas to say, Falcon Zord, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that's what kind of it was like when I opened it up. I mean, I was excited in one hand, but in the other hand, I was very, very disappointed. Just to the fact of, it should have been the fact of that one should have actually had electronics in it. That's what it really should have been. Because that's one thing I looked at it and I was like, it has to have electronics in it. Those red things have to at least glow and whatever. <clears throat> I'm not trying to say, oh, they should have been super parents and the fact that they learned about, oh, this is actually a Japanese TV show in disguise. And if they get trans, if they get some shipping and stuff, they're able to actually get the real thing, even though given there will be a, it will be a costly fee. But of course, if they really wanted to make me happy and not hate the toy whatsoever, they could have actually have been like, yeah. We're going to get that one with electronics, which even today, I think it might be costly. It might be very costly, but I would figure we would, they would try some way to actually find it. But the internet wasn't as good as it is today. That's all I really have to say on that. Well, anyways, mm, legacy toy line, yeah. So I didn't really care about the Morpher or the Megazord at first. But later years, when they started the Legacy toy line, I was kind of like, 
You know? I enjoy Power Rangers. I think it's only fair that I should actually get the Megazord and the Morpher. <clears throat> of course, don't get me wrong, I did have toys of Power Rangers anyways. I had the Green Ranger, I had the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Pink Ranger, Black Ranger, Adam as the Black Ranger. I didn't really get Jason. I didn't get Jason as the Red Ranger. I had Rocky as the Red Ranger. And I had another Trini. Yeah, don't ask me what I did with that one. It kind of makes me sad. But yeah, that's what happened. And I never got the Flipping Head White Ranger. And of course, one day I decided to leave them outside because I didn't feel like bringing them in. And my next door neighbor actually stole them. Have I ever actually said he stole them? Mama, he stole my toys? No. And besides, a few of them actually had tape on them. Another one, Billy, I remember his shoulder kept on popping off and his arm would actually pop off. So it's kind of like the messed up point of, why the frick do you want those toys if, yeah, I mean, he didn't know. He didn't know about the messed up thing about those toys. The fact that they're truly fragile and I spent days and days and days actually fixing them. Making sure that the Red Ranger's foot actually worked. Yeah, because his Red Ranger's foot actually kept on flying off and stuff. So, yeah, those toys are really messed up and fragile. So, I'm kind of like, yeah, so you stole those from me? You don't even know how broken they are. I mean, the only good one that was good was freaking Zax. Well, I actually had Adam. Yeah. And Trini was okay. And Kimberly was okay. That was it. As for Tommy, I actually got two of those. Yeah, I found, I had one, I got the, bought the first one, and the first one broke. And then there was one in a place, and technically, I could just claim it as my own. So that's what I did. I know, I know, I'm a bad person. But, yeah. So I basically took that Tommy and then it broke again and then I was like, oh, frick, and then I had to fix it. Yeah, so that's one thing I did when I was little was fixing some toys. That's what I did. And yeah, for this stupid idiot kid next door actually was like, ooh, Power Ranger toys. And not only that, but it's kind of like the point of, dude, they're not really that good. They're not really, fra they're very fragile. They kind of suck. Not only that, but I still have most of the weapons, too. It's kind of like, dude, you don't even have the weapons. You don't even have the dragon shield. Which, don't get me started on the dragon shield. But, yeah. So, that toy got... And also had all the McDonald's toys. All the McDonald's movie toys, I have it. But, when I was 10 years old, I accidentally left the Yellow Ranger at my cousin's house. So, I'm missing the Yellow Ranger. Given, if anything, I've that Yellow Ranger, it's okay. Because the Yellow Ranger had a red streak on her leg yeah so it kind of sucks that i don't have the complete set anymore but still i did have it at one point i also had all the movie original movie releases but i had to break the red one and the pink one so the other ones can live which i don't really know why the pink one actually had to be broken but it happened anyways and then the yellow one i had some reason its freaking arm flew off so, I have like a one-handed <laughs> freaking ranger. Uh, I scraped off their buckle and I scraped off the... I think there was actually their sticker. It was a sticker. I took those off too. I'm kind of like a kid that actually just wanted plain. Like, yeah, that's one thing that's messed up is... Make it plain. Make it like what is in the... Not in the movie, but as the freaking TV show. If you give me that, I'm fine with it. But if you make it not like that, I will alter it to make it look like that. And that's what really happened. Yeah, that's what really happened. <clears throat> well, anyways. Oh, yeah, I also had the Power Ranger game, Tiger game. Yeah, and I don't know what happened to that. My mom says it's somewhere around here, but I think it was the time of my auntie saying you have too much toys throw some toys away i think that's what happened to it it's a dark time i wish i could go back in time and stop myself because i actually have a crate that is empty and those toys can actually fit those so it's kind of like yeah all i had to do was just wait 
some years. Not only that, but I could have just gave it to charity. Yeah, I could have just gave it to freaking Salvation Army. Why the frick didn't that come into play? Anyways, whatever. Back to the main subject, shall we? Yeah, because I'm joining on. Back to the main subject. So, I got the Legacy Toy Line in 2003. That's good. Um, 2014, everyone heard what I wanted. So, yeah, I got the Legacy Dragon Zord. Awesome. Got the Legacy Dragon Dagger. Awesome. Golden Morpher. I missed it. Screw the damn movie Morpher. Because if the movie Morpher didn't come out, it would still have the Golden... You still have the Golden Morpher ready to get picked up. But instead, they pushed out the freaking movie Morpher. And now, because of that, I got screwed in the crossfire. I will say one thing, which I don't think this is true. But in the Toy Fair, if they actually try to say they're going to redistribute the Golden Morpher... F word. <laughs> because I just used the money to get something else. So that means that, yeah... So what I'm hoping is that later down the road, you know how it is in Power Ranger conventions and stuff. Hopefully someday one will be like near me that I'm able to just straight up drive to. And most likely they'll have to go to Morpher right there. And I'm like, oh hell yes. And most likely maybe he'll say 40 to $50 even though given. He most likely will be like, no, 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 this, this is 80 $100. Which I really hope you'll give me a fair deal if I does that does happen. But that's about it. <clears throat> I wish I did get the Golden Morpher. I really wish I did. But Movie Morpher. Screw it. Screw the damn Movie Morpher. Screw it. And I swear, if you make more Movie Morphers, just to be like, yeah, here's the Red Ranger Movie Morpher. Here's the Blue Ranger. Here's the Yellow Ranger. Pink Ranger. Did I say Black? Black Ranger. There you go. Yeah. I'm like, screw your Morphers. Your Morphers screwed me over. Screw those damn movie morphers. Screw them. Screw those damn movie morphers. Side note. They did kind of announce that they're going to do the movie, legacy movie, Megazord and Falcon Zord. If I'm able to get Falcon Zord very, very cheap, I most likely will buy it. Just so I can do a video comparison of them both. That would be cool. That would be one cool thing to do is just have a comparison saying, yeah, so look what they did with the original one. It's not really that die cast metal and stuff. And then here's the new one, which, new one, yet again, they don't put the freaking electronics in it. And yeah, there you go. Look at them both. Yeah, cool, huh? Yeah, so most likely I'll try to do the whole save money and stuff. Maybe get to the final point where they're trying to get rid of them and then scoop them up. Yeah, I most likely will try to scoop up the Legacy Megazord and um, Legacy Movie Megazord, the Legacy Ninjetti Megazord, and also the Falcon Zord. Yeah, scoop that up. Actually, it's called the Ninja Megazord. Well, whatever. Screw it. I'll buy it. As for the Shogun Megazord, if they make it a release, I'm not buying it. Sorry. Well, anyway, so in 2015, what they have told us is the following. <clears throat> Screw the movie, Morpher. Saba. I mean, if I did have the Golden Morpher, and since I actually would have the 7th Power Coin, I might consider actually maybe buying the Saba, but I don't really give a darn about the Saba. Mega, the Saba. I don't give a darn about Saba. White Ranger, the White Tiger Megazord. Uh, White Tiger Megazord. It turned into freaking damn Zord Builder. And that's not the one I really care about anyways. I cared about the Red Dragon Megaz the Red Dragon Thunder Zord. So because of that, I might actually skip out on the White Tiger Megazord. Unless it comes on clearance sale for like something very shocking. Like if it comes on clearance sale and actually it's $20. If it's $20, I would actually drive straight down there. Well, is it straight down there? No, it's straight to the right. Actually, yeah, I'll have to drive straight to the right. No, 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 it's straight... Okay, let's see. Uh, first, I'll go straight down, then I'll go straight right. Yeah, so go down, then right. <laughs> yeah, but still, I would go over there and get that. Yeah, I'll go over there and get that. 
but it has to be very cheap. It can't be how much it is right now. It's going to have to be very cheap for me to actually go get it and actually be like, hmm, okay. But other than that, I most likely won't do it. Uh, let's see what next they talked about. They talked about the movie Power Rangers. I mean, they already did Power Rangers before. Of course, I didn't talk about the 2013, that they actually did, like, the helmet stuff. I might have actually bought that. Uh, let's see. You also had the Rangers. They distributed the Rangers. I think they distributed the Rangers today, too. I mean, yeah, this year as well. But this time, they got the movie Rangers, as well if they did them right if they actually had them like in a diff decent size comparison like if there were six inches i would be fine with that i would buy them i would never buy ivan news i did a video on that <laughs> the most intimidating villain i wouldn't ever buy ivan news i'm sorry but yeah you're you're basically going to make my imagination go haywire because you bought Ivan Ooze. But anyways, yeah, I would actually maybe buy some of the movie stuff just to be happy with it. Because that's one thing I would like to do is maybe actually buy some of the stuff and just enjoy it, you know? Yeah, second chance to enjoy what I didn't have as a little kid. Even though I did have the morphing ones and I love the morphing figures. But it depends. Maybe I look at a review. If I look at a review and they're like, oh, look what it can do. Look at his articulation and stuff. I might actually come say, okay, sure, I'll do it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next up, what they announced is the black and the black version of the Legacy Megazord. Yeah, so I think it's black and gold. Yeah, you know, black and gold. So they did this before years ago, but now they're going to bring it back. I'm not going to buy it. They are going to release the Legacy Megazord again because lots of people are saying, I missed my chance. I'll tell you one thing. If they actually do what they did with the Dragon Zord and Titanus, and yes, I forgot to mention Titanus. I didn't want to buy it. $200. Screw that crap. I don't even remember it in the series at all because the fox down here actually kind of skipped some episodes sometimes. It's either that or I had some kind of crap to go to and it made sure I didn't get to see when Titanus was introduced. Because I remember when they had the episode and I was like, what the hell is this? Titanus, when did this come? <laughs> yeah, I don't give a darn about Titanus. Lots of people do. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you got that released. But for me, I'm okay with just having the Dragon Zord and the Legacy Megazord. With that said, with the Legacy Megazord, if they actually did what they did previously, is the fact of they actually painted it on. Yeah, if they painted it, all the details you need on it without the stickers, if they did that, I would freaking buy it and then take the one that I have and sell it. Yeah. I would buy this new one so I don't have to deal with the freaking damn stickers and sell my old one. Now sell my old one the same price as this one. And I hope no one actually will notice the fact of, oh my gosh, but yeah, I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't do eBay. Screw that frick. <laughs> Screw that crap. eBay sucks now. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I actually would just post it on Craigslist, I guess. That might be it. Or... Maybe post it on here even though the Legos the Lego sales is not doing anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe post it on Facebook as well. So yeah. But still, I mean if I get both of them, I would be okay with it. Of course I would just before I sell it, I would make sure I show that there was this much stickers I had to put on it and I didn't want to do it. I mean, I did it for the 2010 one, but it's kind of like, I suck at putting on stickers. And there's many people who actually enjoy putting on stickers and know how to do it very good. And I would just say, if you are one of those types and you're like, oh, dude, that's a pity. I'll do it for you. I won't let you do it on Legacy Megazord because I'm like, yeah, screw that. I'd rather keep the freaking stuff on its own. But if there's like anything else like Lego sets... I would let you put the stickers on because I suck at putting on stickers. 
Stickers is the bane of my existence. They suck. I'd rather just print it so I don't have to worry about it. And also the peeling effect. The peeling effect. I hate that crap too. But anyways, yeah, that's about all I needed to say is the fact of this year. Yeah, like last year, I had like three things I wanted to buy. This year, I actually get a break. This year, I don't see anything that sparks my interest. And because of that, yippee ki yay yay But of course, one thing they might do, I know they might do it, is they might actually make the Legacy... No, the Deluxe. They were at least the Deluxe Code... Go Jujin. Oh, Ko Rujin. Ko Rujin? Well, anyways, they would freaking take the Dino Charge Megazord and release the deluxe version of it. If they do that, aw, oh, damn. <laughs> if they do that, aw, oh, damn. But if they don't do it, I can just sit here pretty. I can collect money. I can actually be okay with being like, all right. I don't have to actually get lots of money. I can actually save my money. Heck, I might actually go to Shout Factory and say, Hey, I would like to have that cute dog over there. That Super Sentai video. That DVD, 10-pack DVD. I want that. <clears throat> yeah, chances are it might actually turn into nothing but a DVD thing. Where I'm like, yeah, also, the Beetleborgs, I'll take that too. You know, we come to that point and then call Time Life and say, hey, I would like to have one of those. If I have enough money, hey, I would like to buy two of those. Yeah, and then sell one of the copies. Yeah, sell one of the copies. <clears throat> Somehow, if I got Patreon on here and stuff and actually use the Patreon money to actually get the second one, I actually will be generous enough to say, hey, how y'all doing, guys? This is a freaking sweepstakes. You get to have this first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers DVD. Yeah, and the people, most likely some people would be like, oh, so you got it from Time Life, didn't you? Where is that figure that comes with it? And then I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, this guy knows what I did. <laughs> but of course, some people would just be happy to get season one. I mean, I looked at Walmart. Walmart doesn't have season one. They have season two. They have season three, four, five, six, seven. And so on, but they don't have season one. I think Time Life has a lock on that. Either that or the Walmart that I go to doesn't have season one at the most. Well, anyways, that is where I'm going to end it. So thank you for listening. And of course, I would like to tell you, please stay tuned and tell me what you guys think about the freaking toy line that's coming. Of course, I will say one thing. If they do make six inch figures again i'm most likely will start buying them i'm most likely will start buying them or basically what i did with gokai red or aka super mega force red if i see it marked down which i really really wish that i can just straight up say uh it's five dollars <laughs> yeah i was being cool but of course one thing that happened was just the fact of she scanned it it said seven dollars i was like oh no the freaking sticker says six dollars yeah next time i might actually just sit and wait and see what happens i most likely will do that but anyways yeah i'm this is running too fat this is running too long and sorry about that so please bear with me and watch this video all the way through and if you have watched all the way through thank you so much and have a great day and stay tuned for all the waves of the freaking ignorant rant there's some good stuff too it ranges. Have a great day.